we have a bunch of PCBs here and uh, they don't go inside UAVs. Could you tell us what's a little bit different about these? So the difference with these is the, the PCBs are actually the airframes of the vehicles. Um, rather than spending the time and effort to make a new airframe around it, we decided to make the PCBs themselves the airframes. The Fab House makes them and there's no touch time to put them together. Okay. Well, I see there are a couple here. Could you uh, give us some details about each one of them? Sure. So this is a Mark II Cicada. The idea with this was a pretty simple airframe without any folding uh, to try to get as much wing area as possible to allow low speed flight. Um, so one of the things about this one is it has these linear servos that are very lightweight and are able to be integrated easily onto a PC board. The uh, lighting holes are there to facilitate getting the center of gravity in the correct location so the airplane flies as it's supposed to with a minimum of ballast. Um, if you look on the other side, we have a lithium polymer battery that provides all of the, the uh, power to run the servos and the electronic systems. Uh, and this is just a glider, so there's no propulsion to worry about. The flaps are hinged with tape. Um, they're cut out with the router as the PC board is manufactured. We just break those off and tape them down so that they can articulate um, using these control rods. The control system is very simple. It uses elevons, uh, elevators and ailerons controlled uh, by the same surfaces. So you're allowed to roll and pitch, which is all you really need to fly any airplane. So there is a GPS sensor located here, which is really the only requirement for the autopilot to operate. I mean, it flies a glide slope and estimates wind and uh, wind velocity and direction based on its motion along the ground track. So we made this as general as possible in terms of the circuitry. The idea is you have all of this board real estate that can be used for any sensor that you may want to integrate. Um, we've done some with LED lights, yeah, yeah. flashers, but it's really you know up to the end user what they want to integrate onto the board. Okay, so this is the Cicada Mark IV. This is the, the latest generation of the Cicada vehicle that we've developed in NRL. Um, this one has a few extra features notable from the others. The biggest one is the addition of a cell phone modem. So this one has the capability of taking the sensor data that has been collected once, it's, once it has landed and send it back in form of a text message. Um, you'll notice there's a GPS sensor as the other ones had, as well as the addition of a SIM card. An SD card login is in there as well, you know, to collect data. The layout is very similar to the, the other one, the, the, the Gen 2 Cicada. You have a servo that drives an Elevon flap for control. Um, in, in the same way, elevator and ailerons are controlled by the same surfaces, so you have roll and pitch which again is all you really need to fly an airplane. So one of the other notable features about this vehicle is it uses flex circuit, flex circuit technology to enable a folding mechanism. Um, this unfolds flat, and I guess I can show this. So it's shaped similar to this, but it can be folded up to form a housing for all of the sensitive electronics inside, allowing some weatherproofing and uh, giving a place to put things like the battery out of the way. Another notable feature is the, the intent to put this in a sauna buoy tube. If you notice, they stack together and take up a cylindrical footprint. So many can be stacked into a tube and deployed at once. So a size A sauna buoy tube is a typical tube that's used for, to, for drop sons for weather research and oceanographic research. Um, so the idea here is you can have more sensors scattered over a wider area than you can get with a single drop sign. One of the one of the ideas about this vehicle is also it is it's built like electronics, which are very cheap to manufacture these days. So they can be disposable if desired. However, with this generation, you have a cell phone modem, so it is possible to have, have it text its location. You can go out and pick it up and, and reuse the vehicle if you would like. Some of the potential applications are electronic warfare sensors, um, the weather sensors, uh, ISR type sensors. Anything you would like to do, we can probably accommodate. Excellent.